Hey, welcome back to the channel. It's just awesome that you're tuning in. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the Raspberry Pi number four because we're having an eight gigabyte edition now. When you're seeing this video, maybe it's already out and it will retail for $75. After one year of Raspberry Pis, they made a couple of different versions. For example, the one gigabyte, two gigabyte and the four gigabyte. And now the eight gigabyte is new to the family. The Raspberry Pi, a lot have happened in the last year. So they have sold nearly 3 million units in the last year. And not only that they sold many units, they also did some minor revisions of the mainboard. I can still remember the day that when it came out that it has some little issues if it comes to the heat. Also they did a reduction of the price, for example with the 2GB version. And they did some revisions and some minor changes to the PCB simply because it had not only a problem with heat but they managed to find a way to give this thing a lower power consumption in idle and that is something that is pretty damn cool. With the new BCM 2007 LF chip they used on the Raspberry 4 can address up to 16 gigabytes of LPDDR4 SD RAM. So the problem with this barrier was more that they couldn't get the chip for the Raspberry Pi in the RISE format because it didn't exist. But nowadays of course the technology, technology goes so fast that they managed to get it. And of course it's available 8GB Raspberry Pi 4 for only a price of $75. So I think that is a pretty good deal. But then is the question, what is up with all the casing that we can buy, for example, on Amazon or AliExpress? At the end, you can still use the Raspberry Pi for cases. So that is very convenient if you have one laying around, you want to do an upgrade, or you want to get yourself a Raspberry Pi casing, so you don't need to wait for a special version. I'm very glad they made this choice that they swapped some stuff around, but at the end, they didn't do major changes because it wouldn't make it not really convenient getting yourself a case in the future. So a small recap for the people who have no idea what it is Raspberry Pi 4 in general. So Raspberry Pi 4 is just a PCB and you can do whatever you want with it. For example, you can use this device for home computing. So you just want to hook up two controls and just, for example, want to have two monitors and then you can just use it like your daily PC for navigating and browsing on the internet and doing some work like emailing because this device also supports Linux. But another thing, I think the majority of the people buy this thing and correct me if I'm wrong, will use this device for emulating retro games. But a little bit more about that. The peripherals that you're going to get is just crazy. From LCD displays, from cameras, it's just awesome. So I think an other part of the people buy this just want to learn about programming. I think that was the main goal of the Raspberry Pi in general, that you can learn about programming and setting up new peripherals. But let's talk about what's up with the Raspberry Pi 4 new 8 gigabyte model if it comes to emulation. So what I do understand is that it doesn't influence the emulation power. Sadly, there is not a big of an improvement. So if you're having the Raspberry Pi 4, and there is not a big update of the PCB, for example, and you want to have this 8 gigabyte for emulation, I think it will be a waste of money simply because it doesn't have any influence. And that is something is a little bit of a shame. And I understand why they're not giving this thing in, let's say, a better CPU. You just want to upgrade the memory. And this is more if you want to use this for other applications. So I just needed to point it out because I know a lot of people will use the Raspberry Pi 4 for emulation but more about in a different video. There's one thing that I'm very personally interested in and it is of course handhelds. If you look at AliExpress nowadays, we can find a lot of different handhelds that are based on the Raspberry Pi. So far I know when making this video, there is no Raspberry Pi 4 handheld out there. I can tell you if they managed to find a way to get these Raspberry Pi 4s inside this handheld, that would be um, really amazing. Simply because the Raspberry Pi 4 gives us so many new options if it comes to emulation. Uh, so far I understand they have the option to run Sega Dreamcast nowadays and maybe in the future some more. Of course we're limited to the graphical or better said the CPU power, GPU power to give us the graphical emulation. Nevertheless, 
I just wanted to point it out. There are handhelds out there. Most of them are making this video are sadly only Raspberry Pi 4 3B or 3B plus. So if you're going to look into Raspberry Pi, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, become one of the Wicked Fam because I'm going to do some more Raspberry Pi 4 stuff here on the channel. For now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell, and I'll see you in the next video.